How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Mark Santos and today I'm going to be showing you the top 25 newest jailbreak tweaks for iOS 13.5. As always, all these sources and tweak names are going to be in the description of the video. But before we get started, me as be wanted to ask you to please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos. I'm a tech and lifestyle content creator and I make a lot of other videos that are not jailbreak related so you can click over here in this playlist to check it out. But with no more announcements, let's get right into the first tweak. Sidow is a tweak that lets you download paid tweaks for free, but please only use this to download tweaks for testing. Um, test your tweaks with this, and then if you like it, buy it with the actual developer because when you buy the tweak you're actually supporting the developer to keep updating and making the tweaks better these developers they don't have a whole team behind them it's usually just them and when you support them with just like 99 cents or 199 whatever it is it's like nothing for you but it really helps them out so only use side down to test out paid tweaks and then if you actually like it, buy it. Aris completely modifies your Siri experience. It is what I've been using for my Siri and it just makes it look so much nicer. It is a highly customizable tweak that lets you keep doing what you love in your iPhone while asking Siri questions. Short emoji adds quick access to emojis and a pasteboard shortcuts in the stock keyboard. I'm trying to vibe helps you when you're trying to clear out your app switcher but you're still playing music in the background. It's not going to close the music app. It's going to keep playing music in the background, but close all the other apps that are not playing anything. BT device renamer lets you rename Bluetooth devices. Small message app drawer is a tiny tweak that stops the message app drawer over here from getting bigger when you swipe on it. Clean folders hides the background and title of the open folders for a more minimal look. Peony lets you pin your messages to the top of the iMessages app, just like on iOS 14. Clay door is a tweak that makes your phone automatically lock when you place it face down on the surface. It's quite simple, there's no configurations and it just does what it does. No Clipboard for You is a nice privacy app that everyone needs to get. It prevents apps like TikTok from spying on your clipboard. If you didn't know and you're not watching my podcast, TikTok is really invasive and it can get access to your clipboard. So like if you copy something, TikTok can see what you copied and I just don't know why you would wanna see it. These are just all my apps, but you can turn it off for whatever apps you want. I personally turned it off for TikTok specifically because I know that they actually check that, but you can turn it off for all the other apps if you want. Don't say message photos prevents images and videos taken in the messages app from saving to the camera roll. Imagine this, it's late at night, you huddled in your room, open Instagram and navigate to your crush's profile. You stalk their profile scrolling through all their posts until accidentally you double tap on an old post from 2015 and then you bury yourself in bed knowing you have exposed yourself as a stalker. Oh my God, I even moved the camera. And then you feel sad, but no longer with Insta not a stalker. <laughs> Insta not a stalker displays an alert on your phone when you like an Instagram post. It's really simple. It has these configurations right here and it just shows a pop up making sure that you actually want to like that picture. Notify Wi-Fi X gives you a notification every time you connect to a new Wi-Fi network. Quick markup adds a little icon right here that makes it easier for you to access the markup functionality on your phone. With Pigment, you have the ability to add some color to your phone and colorize notifications, widgets, and the lock screen player to match the artwork or icon. Translomatic lets you quickly translate any text. Just select the desired text and choose Translomatic from the select menu itself and translate it. It has a bunch of language options. Check this out. And it's super simple to use. With Signal Reborn, you can map out all the cell towers near your local area and check what cell towers are closest to you. I'm not going to show my location here, but let's say I was right here. Then we could see that the nearest tower is like right here. So if I really needed service, I could drive over there and get service. This is useful when you're far away from like a place with good service. You can check where the cell tower is and maybe aim your phone that way i don't know it's just an interesting feature to have with siri ttl you can set a timer in settings to when siri will be dismissed after she gets into the idle mode not talking or listening it's very convenient especially when you're driving and you want to proceed doing what you were doing hands-free with fast lpm you can just tap on the status bar battery to toggle low power mode haptic volume adds haptic feedback to both volume buttons so satisfying not finical lets you swipe away the lock screen music player 
Titan is literally the best app ever and it lets you do true picture in picture support for all your favorite apps. It's literally so good guys. It uses the same technology that Apple used on iPad OS so it works perfectly fine no bugs at all and if you wanted to make it work with youtube too you need to get a tweet called youtube reborn that's an extra over here in our list uh, youtube reborn will let you play um youtube videos in the background so to make it work with youtube you gotta make sure you have youtube reborn as well but titan is amazing velux reloaded lets you add widgets from any app just like on ios 14 to your home screen Dane provides a completely new and more modern look to your notifications banner experience while adding many new features in the process. It is highly customizable so you can change it to be exactly the way you want. There's literally so many settings over here guys and this is how I like to keep mine. Handcuff is a must have tweak that takes anonymous selfies when someone tries to unlock or power off your device. These selfies are sent to a specific phone number or email address that you set in these settings of the app. I'm not going to open it because then it's going to show my phone number. But this app, it's 149 and it's literally a must have guys. You have no idea how useful this is. If someone steals your phone, you can get a picture of them. If someone um, tries to unlock your phone without you knowing you can get a picture of them. This should be included in the iOS system. I don't know why it's not, but this is amazing. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos right here and please subscribe right here. Thank you very much for watching and bye.